I have a Revel 4 Plus phone here. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from your Revel phone to any Chromebook's hard drive. I'm not talking about uploading it to a Google Cloud. I'm talking about physically saving your photos and videos to the hard drive of your Chromebook via USB charging cable. So very simple here. So first thing, obviously, go ahead and grab your charging cable. USB-A into a USB port into your Chromebook. Doesn't matter what brand Chromebook you have either. Plug that in and then plug the other side the USB-C into your Rebel phone. Alright, now what you want to do is go ahead and log into the phone. So we're going to go ahead and log in. Now once you're logged in and you're connected to your computer, next thing is slide down notifications on your Rebel phone. So we're going to slide down like this. Okay, now you should see this it should say uh, this uh, message here, charging this device via USB, and under it says tap for more options. So let's tap this. Okay, now you can see by default, it's checked no data transfer. What we wanna do is go up here and go to file transfer. So tap on file transfer right there. Now this window here will pop up. Your uh, files folder here will pop up. If this didn't pop up, this window here, all you gotta do is go down here to the bottom left hand side, tap on that, and then we're gonna go to files. Go to files right there, and that's that same window right there, okay? And then here, it doesn't matter, we'll just leave it plugged in. And now, now look very carefully. Now if I look on the left pane here, now you should get something else that popped up. Okay, now I have a Rebel phone here, but it, for some reason it says One Touch Idle. That's the name that it's giving my phone. I have another Revel that I use, and it's a, um, a Revel V Plus, and it gives like a totally different name. But this one here says One Touch Idle 3. So let me tap on that. Okay. So right here, right underneath that left pane, you know, you can see all your folders that are on your Revel phone. Okay. Or, you know, you can just go ahead and tap on want your uh, Rebel phone and then all the folders are here as well. Okay, so what you gotta do is all your photos and videos that you take in goes directly into your DCIM folder. So you can go ahead and double click up there or it doesn't matter, you can go down here. As long as your phone is highlighted, you can go to DCIM right here. We can go ahead and double click DCIM. And then here's camera here. So we'll go ahead and let me zoom in a little bit. Double click on camera. Now you can see I have uh, several, I have two videos here and two um, Photos. I know that these are photos here because it has an IMG and also a, a JPG extension, JPEG extension. So these are photos here. I know that these are videos up here because it has an MP4 uh, extension right there, okay? Anyway, from here, this is not a Windows computer. It's not like I can go ahead and drag one of these files and drag it to the dress desktop. Oops. Because if I... Oops, let me turn this off. If I drag and drop it to the desktop, if I drop it right there, it's going to swing right back down. Okay, remember this is not a Windows computer, so this is what we have to do. Now, if we go back over to the left left pane here, and let me go ahead and just go all the way, go all the way up. Now, you see where it says My Files. Everything that's in My Files that is on the hard drive of the Chromebook. Okay, so this download folders, this downloads right here, this folder is everything that's on the hard drive. So what we're going to do is this. Let's go ahead and create another folder under My Files. So let's go to My Files here. And I'm going to go to New Folder. And then we'll just call this one, I'll just call it Rebel. Press on Enter. Now i got this Rebel folder here. So now what I can do is just drag and drop each one individually right into there. Or what I typically do is I like to do the whole shebang and then drag and drop into that new folder right there. And then give it one second to transfer. It's not transferring. I have to make sure that I'm logged in. Let me log in. Make sure I'm logged in here. And then, oops, okay, so I'm logged in, and then we're gonna do this again. Drag and drop it right into there. And we can see it copying right down here. So give this a little bit. All right, it's complete now. And now, I mean, I can go ahead, and at this point I can just go ahead and unplug my phone. And then if I go to that folder, that we created under Revel right there. And now you can see my photos and videos here. I accidentally copied it twice, but there you go. That's actually on the hard drive of the Chromebook. So from here, you can go ahead and save the documents or you can do some editing or whatnot. So pretty simple. Questions or issues, just comment below.